Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is specifically for people who still find it really, really difficult to get their brows snatched. Like whether you're still a beginner or you've already mastered makeup but you still find it kind of difficult to get your brows looking really nice. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to go ahead and get that perfect brows like i'm gonna break it down we're gonna break it down break it down down <laughs> you know i'm gonna break it down from brow grooming to going ahead to fill up your brows to cleaning your brows everything you need to know when it comes to brows also this is among our why your makeup don't look like your favorite influencer or your favorite makeup guru from my last video you guys suggested i treat brows some people said lashes some people said eyeliner but for today's video we're simply just going to treat brows others are coming guys just relax we are going to treat every single thing when it comes to makeup i try as much as possible to break it really really down you know for for, let's assume for somebody who has never worn makeup before to perfectly understand how to go about putting on their makeup so the very first thing would be to go ahead and make sure your brows are ready you know you want to get it to the shape to the act you want before then going in to fill fill them in and to do this i would seriously advise these three products right here a scissors a small scissors a tweezer and um what is this called a blade and also a spoolie these three products are very very important when we're talking about brow grooming and of course the spoolie comes a very very the, the spoolie comes in very very handy to you know perfectly brush your brows as you all can see it just helps um brush and at least makes it very very easy for you to see where exactly to go ahead and trim and as you guys can see i don't really have much brows guys like naturally i don't have a lot of brows even though i trim my brows but i don't have a lot of brows so once i have used my spoolie to brush the brows the next thing will be to go in with the blade and what i normally love to do is to go below because when you do your brows guys you want it to be as clean and as precise as possible so in order to do that if you notice sometimes you get small hair like below your brows and also above your brows so what let me come closer so you guys can see what i'm doing so what i love to do is to go ahead and use my blade and just you guys look you can see all this small um hair right below like my main and um, brow hair so i'm just gonna go in and use the blade to kind of um shave those off because those are gonna make your brow not to look as clean as possible when you go ahead and um clean out your brows with your concealer so an easy way to do this is just go in with the blade and just trim under your brow and also you go in and trim above it while doing this you want to be very very careful so you don't end up cutting your brow just above you go above just trim 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 i'm going to do the same exact thing right here i don't want this um this to be too bright i want you guys to see exactly what i'm doing so trying to make sure my lighting is not too bright all right so i'm gonna go in and do the exact same thing on this brow just trim down and up brush out whatever hair that came out of the brow next i'm gonna go back in with this pulley just brush the hair and this time around i'm gonna look above the brow to see if there is any um brow that is too long you know you don't want your brows to have different lengths because that way when you go ahead and line your brows you will notice that some um brows you know are going to be exceeding above your the brow pencil so in order to pre in, in order to prevent that i love to go in and just use the Spoolie once more brush up my brows to see if there is any brow that is longer and then this is exactly where the scissors comes in so i just like to go above and see just trim 
whatever bra that is looking too long or that is coming out too long I'm going to do the exact same thing right here and then brush again again so this next step is definitely optional these are for people who have oily skin if you notice that your brow tends to get oily especially in the front here mine is always here and here just use your translucent powder and just apply right on your brow this will help mattify it and also this helps a lot with making the pencil you know to be steady whenever you're, you're going into line your brows so just go ahead with your favorite translucent powder any powder at all guys just something that would make your brows not to be shiny something that would mattify it next is to go ahead and line your brows and this is where the product you want to use for your brows comes into play if you want to use a brow pencil you can a brow gel you can i love the anastasia deep brow pomade i always use the chocolate or the ebony some people like to use brow powder this one is from um, diva dem this is a brow powder while other people of course like i said like brow pencil and my two favorite brow pencils are the nyx um micro brow pencil or the benefits precisely my brow pencil the reason i love to this the reason i love these two pencils is the fact that as you all can can see they are very very tiny like they are they are they are the product you know comes in really really tiny let me see if you guys can see how tiny they look and this helps a lot when you're going ahead to line your brows because you need your brow line to be as sharp and as precise as possible for me using big um, brow pencils don't work for me because it's like it just it makes me to be confused you know when i'm going ahead to fill in my brows so i always prefer very tiny very precise and um, brow pencils so for today's video i'm going to be using my benefits precisely my brows and the reason i love this brow pencil is the fact that i'm using actually using the shade in 4.5 and this 4.5 is perfect i hate it when i do my brows and they are too light because when you go ahead and apply your foundation your concealer your powder your whatever you will notice that your makeup is going to overshadow your your brows and once that happens it will look as if you barely have on brows so i love to use a brow that is maybe I would say one or two shades darker than my skin tone that's normally you know like my best bet whenever i'm going for a brow pencil color so this one right here is a little is slightly dark but i love the color because by the time i finish up with my makeup you know apply everything they will all blend in and balance i'm just gonna go ahead and use my spoolie comb out the brows and then this one needs absolute concentration because what I love to do is to go ahead and start from below my brows as you all can see an easy way to actually know where exactly to apply your brow pencil is use your brow uh, use your brow pencil put it right by the like by the side of your nose right here you just pretend as if you have the bridge of your nose and then the two sides of your nose and I love to trace it right by the corner of my nose right here as you all can see this is exactly where my brows starts right so I love to go ahead and right here place my brow and um, product right here and I love to gradually just with a stroke as if I'm stroking my brows right just start applying just start um drawing out a line this is a very simple way especially if you're a beginner like sometimes i have moods sometimes i just go in and fill in my brows but if i want to take my time and do this i love to kind of draw out a line it kind of helps me a lot to um know exactly what i'm doing if that's the right word to use so i will just in a stroke line the bottom of my brows and also this depends on the shape you want to go for if you want to give your brow a lifted arch you can go ahead and do that this is where you create exactly the shape you want so i like to 
kind of put my hand in at an angle as you all can see i'm not doing it straight is my bra my hand is at an angle and then i draw the line So sometimes I just go ahead and finish up one brows and then do the other brows. But for beginners to be able to know that you know your two brows, of course your two brows, your two brows are sisters. They are not twins. So sometimes they might look alike. Sometimes they might not look alike. But in order to get them as close to each other as possible, the best thing to do is do them as you do one, you do the other. As you do one, you do the other, so that. That way you're looking at the one you've already done and then it's going to be easier for you to trace the one to do. So the same thing we did with this one. I'm going to keep my hand at an angle and then just and also when I'm putting my brows, I'm putting I'm beginning to put my brows right where my brow hair, you know, starts from below my brow. That is exactly where, how I like to do it and then. I just trace it just with like we did the other one you guys as you all can see something like this they are all looking the same except that this line is thicker than this but it's all okay because by the time I go ahead and clean and everything everything they will all look the same and then above we're gonna do the exact same thing just gradually sketch and trace You guys look what we have two weird witch looking lines but they are all gonna come together don't worry i'm just gonna still do the same thing right on this side all right so once we have something like this the next thing is to go ahead and begin to fill in the brows and you don't need any precision for this guys just go ahead with your brow pencil and just Start um, working it all over the inside of your brow. Some people will tell you, oh, you should leave the front, but I always feel like my, my brows look weird. Whenever I leave the brows, it's like there's no product in the brow and then the outside has all this product. So I like to do whatever it is I'm doing, you know, on my brows. On the whole brow but then I go ahead and concentrate with the brushing for the front this is actually where the work comes in because I like to go ahead and kind of diffuse the front of my brow like I said I would always you know prefer to fill them in and then go ahead and diffuse than not even filling in the front of my brows it always looks weird whenever I don't feel the front and then also I like to go in and brush the rest but not as much as I did the front so I brush back red I, I brush forward I brush up I brush down just to make sure that you know the whole front hair is all the way coated all right so once that is done I like to then go in with a brow gel this is not compulsory if you don't have a brow gel it's okay but the reason i love to use this is so that way it will help kind of thin my brows because you notice sometimes when you do your brows like your brow is all over the place it's not relaxed so this right here kind of helps to gel down those brow and i'm using this one i absolutely love this one from laura messier so 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 good and also whenever i use my um brow gel to brush my brow it kind of there's this look i can't explain but it gives it this look once i go ahead and clean it up so i just go in with my brow gel and just comb my brows but we are now going to clean it up and to do this i'm using my um cover girl full spectrum concealer palette and how i love to do this is i love to go in with a very nice sharp 
precise brush as you all can see look at this brush right here look how um, fine and precise look how fine and precise the brush is you know the brushes is this is the type of brush I love to go ahead and pick my concealer with and also when you guys look at this concealer palette right here you can see this concealer is the lightest and then it goes down in shades and you know all the way to the darkest so what I love to do is go in with my lighter concealer right below my brows because you need that highlighted effect you know on your brows and then you need the, the, the um, you need above your brows to be as natural to your skin tone as possible so from this color wheel right here this one right here would definitely you know look good for below my brows and this or that would you know this or that will look good above the brows I don't like using liquid um, concealer to clean out my brows because I always feel like it gets out of control for me to handle you know I don't like it when the product is too slippery you know it just makes it more difficult to work with so as a beginner you definitely have to bear that in mind using like um, maybe LA Girl Pro Conceal is definitely a no-no for me because those products are more on the liquid side so they're just gonna be sliding and you know moving all over the place but using something like this a cream concealer is just way to go and to clean out my brows I like to just the same way we applied the just the same way we applied the the brow line just follow that line and just trace it all the way to the end And then I like to go in below. I like to go below the product and just bring it down. So that way it will be very, very easy for me to clean it out. And just like we did down, we're gonna do the same thing up. But the up one, you have to be very, very careful guys. Like the down one is always easy, but the up one, you want to be very careful so I'm just gonna kind of lay the brush on my skin and just drag it They're all looking crazy guys but it's all okay just go in and brush one more time and please if you're enjoying this video just take a moment and hit that like button because it really helps us and then I'm gonna switch to my um, Zoeva warm photo concealer buffer brush and I actually like to go in and blend the lighter concealer before then blending out the darker one But for this, just try to push it up so that it will blend with the rest of your skin. You guys can see there is a line right here. So I just love to go in with my brush and just diffuse the line. I'm gonna apply an eyeshadow primer and I want to go for kind of a very nice smoky eye today you know what I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my brow it's been ages like years since I, I highlighted my brow so I'm gonna be going in with my um, L'Oreal Paris um, infallible eyeshadow in the shade eyes latte I'm gonna go in and pick up this black eyeshadow and just apply it all over my lid. 
gonna go in with my Too Faced um, Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette and I'll just quickly pick up a blending shade and when I'm blending guys I'm just taking the color all over the black shadow because I don't want the black to be too black I'm gonna go in with these two shades and just apply it there just to soften out the look highlight I'm gonna line my lips with NYX brown lip liner I'm gonna be mixing these two lipsticks the MAC um, made lipstick and also naturally transformed last I'm gonna go ahead and top it off with a lip gloss yeah guys i guess this is all there is to this video my loves i hope you all enjoyed and please don't forget to hit that like button below and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and join this amazing family we are all about beauty home lifestyle and yep you must get one or two things from this channel so definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and till my next video i will see you all very very soon bye